We're ready to install Angular and the Angular upgrade library and all of the peer dependencies. Now I could put all of these packages in one long command with the save flag, but I want to take a little bit of time to explain to you what each of these packages are. Each library is under the Angular namespace, and then there are a few polyfill libraries. The first package is Angular Common. These are just the commonly needed services, pipes, and directives for Angular. After that is the Angular Compiler. This is Angular's template compiler. It takes the templates and converts them to code that makes your application run and render. You almost never need to actually interact with it. Next is Angular Core. These are the critical runtime parts of Angular needed by every application. This has things like the metadata decorators, component, directive, all the dependency injection stuff, and the component lifecycle hooks. Angular Forms is pretty self-explanatory. This is just everything we need with forms. And HTTP is pretty self-explanatory. This is just Angular's HTTP client, which replaces $HTTP. Platform Browser is everything DOM and browser related, especially pieces that help render the DOM. This is the package that includes Bootstrap Static, which is the method that we use for bootstrapping our applications for production builds. Platform Browser Dynamic includes providers and another bootstrap method for applications that compile templates on the client. This is the package that we use for bootstrapping during development. And we'll cover switching between the two in another video. As you might guess, Angular Router is just the router for Angular. This is the component router. And finally, we have our Angular Upgrade Library, which is of course the utilities that we need to upgrade our AngularJS application to Angular. Now, all of these Angular packages I have set to install version 4, including major and minor updates. At the time of this recording, version 5 was still in beta, but more importantly, version 4 will have long-term stable support, so that's why I'm focusing on this version. After all of our Angular packages, come our polyfill packages that are peer dependencies of Angular. CoreJS patches the global context, or the window, with certain features of ES6 or ES2015. You may have heard of RxJS by now. This is the library that includes all of the observables that we'll use for handling our data. And finally, ZoneJS is a polyfill for the zone specification, which is part of how Angular manages change detection. And so without further ado, I'm going to open our terminal, cd into our public folder, and run npm install. We can see that all of our packages were installed at version 4.3.5, as well as our polyfill libraries. Excellent. We're now ready to make our application a hybrid application by dual booting both AngularJS and Angular. We'll get started on that process in the next video.